Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special bonus video, I'm going to be doing another unboxing. So I'm really excited because I've finally got these back from, here we go, UK Graders. And they've literally had these since March. That's not me having a go. That's just me saying literally how long they've been gone for. Um, obviously due to COVID and due to restrictions up and down the country, it's taken them a bit longer to process the... Um, the orders that they've been having in but yes they've had these since August and obviously with it now being nearly December they've had them for quite some time so I'm really looking forward just to seeing what they got um, they are all mint on seal card items uh, there's no box stuff but of course they're all sealed hence why I've set them off um, some of these are I suppose relatively common figures um, yeah I can't wait to see what's inside them um, also I just wanted to say that um, at the end of the video don't switch off straight away I'm going to be sticking another Toys O Bot one of my little lads reviews at the um, end as well so if I put this where can I do this once again packed really really well there is so much so much um, oh and oh, there we go so there's two of them together there and then where's the others they are so well packaged they really really are so um, they're literally i don't know if you can see they're covered in card they're covered in bubble wrap and they're even in cases as well so i'm going to try and do this as best i can so you guys can see at the same time um yeah so let's see what's inside these see how they've come out i've got no idea what the grading is going to be but i suppose if i thought they were going to be rubbish i wouldn't have sent them off uh, and see if we can work out what that is let's take this apart so yeah so it's coming close to the end of the year um, and i've got a couple of things coming in soon they've all been shipped from their relative countries and oh there we go we've got a crankcase there and that's got an overall of 75 that's quite nice in fact i'm going to take that out of the bag in a second just so you can see how, how nice it looks i stick these where you can see them just for now while i carry on opening them um, it's weird how my whole idea of the gradings changed wasn't really interested in it at first but then I think due to the fact mainly for preservation you know the grade obviously the grade is good you're getting a good grade on it but for me it's all about keeping the figures preserved I've got quite a few sealed cards and obviously they can get damaged they can get knocked you can move them around you can take them off on the hooks that I've got um, and they can get damaged but whereas these here oh, there we go there's Guzzle. and that one's got an 80 so that's nice now these are covered in bags and in fact what I'm going to do I'm going to take them out of the bag just to give you an idea of how much it dulls it down so you pay an extra £2.50 for a cleaning service and they really do make it pop so let's pull this out here there you go look at that that's really nice really nice I'm liking that. The only negative, the only negative drawback to having things graded is that once they're put in the cases, it's pretty much nigh and impossible to get them out. Um, not that you want to open a sealed um, card, obviously, but because um, just for space, obviously you can see it takes up way more space than what just a um, card on a hook does. I'm making loads of noise. I'm hoping I don't wake my daughter. Right, the next one. And this one probably won't be much of a surprise to you guys who've seen some of my videos. Um, I'm a bit mental for these. I just remember, as I say, said in the video, say it all the time. And it's funny because we do talk about the lack of articulation in some of the older figures. And these are none. But they're just really, really cool. Wait. So there's Chase, and it's got a decoy with him as well, and that's an 85, so that's a nice one as well. 
I'm going to take them out of the covers in a minute. And then the final one, again, if I can without making loads of rackets, is open this. And again, it is another throttle bot. And this one's freeway without the decoy. And that one got a 75. So, you know, they're high enough. There's a couple of little flaws, obviously. That's why they've got... I can sort of make out that this card's bent. But there are my four... Um, yeah, my four figures that have finally made it back from UK Graders. So, um, yeah, so a bit of a collection update. I'm going to be doing a few more um, videos where I'm in front of the camera. I'm going to definitely do one with my Devastators. Um, so I'm going to be doing that very, very soon. As I say, I've got the other things that are coming from around the world for some really big unboxings um, that I'm going to be doing. There's him out of the, out of the bag. Lovely so nice really is good he's popping lovely there but there we go so as i say thanks very much for watching this um hope you enjoyed it please don't switch off too too fast because i'm going to put a little toys robot review at the very end again thanks guys take care hello everybody this is toys old bot and this special video we're going to look at all old bots so on this angle here on the left hand side we're gonna do heat wave on this side here. And then the Optimus Prime's on this here. So let's start with this this one. So just push it. Okay, so first get his head down put and then put his elbow in. And then put his arms in here on these holes. Put his legs up. And then put his tippy toes up. And now let's start with another Optimus Prime. Get his legs down. Hold really tight. And then that's how you make Optimus. Now let's start off with this one. Now to transform him again is to just... Pull his ladder, a teeny ladder from it. And now let's start with the last one. The last heat wave. Then put it on the side. And then thank you for looking at my Autobots. And subscribe for more soon.